that kind of iconic power that Times Square has was the perfect context to introduce this message. The Bulletin is here in Times Square for a week from May 17th to 24th. We're hosting Amnesia Atomica, which is a series of programs and events centered around Pedro Reyes's Zero Nukes 30-foot mushroom cloud. We're putting a number of experts down under this mushroom cloud that Pedro Reyes created to answer questions and provide different ways for people to get engaged, whether it's through the arts, whether it's through reading the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists, whether it's for signing petitions that are going to their policymakers. All of that's going to be down under the cloud on Thursday and Friday. The invasion of Ukraine has shown the whole world what the realities are around nuclear weapons. That we are all held hostages to the whims of a few men. One sudden lapse of judgment or unpredictable decision of one of these leaders could lead us all into a massive global catastrophe. Nuclear weapons do not target military installations, but set entire cities on fire and there can be no adequate response to a city on fire. I suggested, why don't we develop a public artwork? We worked with the artist Pedro Reyes to reinsert the narrative of nuclear threat into the public dialogue. I started working with the idea of the mushroom cloud. What was missing was a slogan, a very clear rejection of nuclear weapons. I arrived to zero nukes because the zero is a concept that is common to all languages, translated into the eight languages of the countries that have nuclear weapons. What I love about the piece is that simultaneously it's dealing with our past, but also demonstrating a very clear step forward that artists like Pedro, and Pedro in particular, take these incredibly big, overwhelming, and complex ideas, synthesize them in a way that is easier to understand and take in. New York is the right place to have this conversation. This is the crossroads, and there's tourists from all over the world passing by, and they're seeing this message in all different languages, and it affects all of them, it affects all of us. We have to be hopeful a trust that cultural change can happen faster than we want to believe. It's in our hands to change this issue.